Well, it is Johnny Jones at home again. Just wanted to show the antenna that I made that I've been using for a while now. I made it out of a greenhouse kit. Greenhouse kits consist of pipes, metal pipes that fit together. And I've used plumbing rings. Come on now, focus. I've used plumbing rings to put it together. And it's a little bit ugly looking. It's a little bit crooked. And I've coated it with I've coated it with some uh, flex seal. Let's go uh, look at the shape of it. Now I know what you're thinking. Boy, his yard's a mess. What's the damn south? Everyone's yard's a mess. And if you're not, you're faking it. Anyways, these are my radials. Now for those of you who know anything about antennas, you'll know that, well, your radials are basically your other end of your antenna, right? The radials, in order to get a uniform pattern, need to be pointed in opposite directions via the or, or to the pole itself. So we're talking about this is a quarter wave, right? This is a quarter wave. Now in a dipole, you'd have this and another one just like it sticking out on the opposite side, vertical. Right now, when you got a, a quarter wave uh, ground plane, you know you have radials. You can have three, four, five, twenty, thirty radials sticking out, forty-five degree angle to that. And the reason why I have two set up right here at this angle, one this uh, increases the um, impedance a bit to match it to the coax cable. Uh, I call it that. Most people call it coax. I always said coax. Eh, it's a funny way of saying it, I guess. Anyways, so what this is doing, this is acting like an L-shaped dipole. There's two radials, which spreads it out a little bit. It puts a little uh, bigger uh, bandwidth on it. Or beam width, not bandwidth. And so, as it's pointing, it's pointing way out there in the city. The city is way past them trees. And I need that kind of directional directionality because right behind me there's nothing. Absolutely nothing. So I use it to talk to the city. Which is actually a town. Kind of a city town. Whatever. The point is, is I live about 15 miles away from it and when this is in L-shaped mode I can easily talk to it. I've actually got it almost 20 miles before on this but when it's an omnidirectional mode I don't get but about 12 miles or so because I live in a dip you can kinda see that radio tower there. It's a big dip I live in and so the radiation pattern on this dipole, or not dipole, this monopole with radials is a lot steeper than a uh, 5 8 wave, right? What that means is I'm getting out of this hole. A 5 8 wave might not actually be any better, even though that a lot of people use them like an Antron. What would benefit me more is actually getting this higher because I live in a hole. And so the radiation pattern is benefiting me by going more up. In my room, I have built a, uh, a dipole, a V dipole, out of, uh, out of um, well, this right here. <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's the good old measuring tape. It happens to be made out of a conductive material known as metal. I'm going to hook that up later. We're going to see how that goes. If you really want to know how to make this, it's easy. I can make a video on that. Anyways, this has been Johnny Jones here at home. 
Oh, I forgot to show you this. This is just some plumbing. And, yeah. And this is a poor little ground wire, but whatever, it works. So, that's what I did there. It's a little bit ugly. I connected it to this uh, piece of wood originally with, uh, with some rope, but that didn't work so well. So I just opted to put a piece of uh, water hose pipe here. That's a tubing split. That way I could keep the metal away from the antenna itself, which of course would increase the impact uh, capacitance, makes the SWR higher. Uh, that's about it. Do I recommend making one? Hell yeah, it's fun. Am I going to show you how? Maybe if you ask. Am I going to show you more stuff? Absolutely. This is Johnny Jones again, and I'm at home. Goodbye.